Karen, massive numbers coming from that protest. We're hearing over 100,000 people there, and the group of Chicagoans joining those people in D.C. today, they tell us it was a once-in-a-lifetime experience to see just how many people are uniting together. All of those demonstrators with one message demanding a ceasefire in Gaza. There's absolutely no reason for the carnage that is happening in Gaza. It shouldn't be happening at all. And um, ceasefire should be the first word out of every single politician's mouth. Jamila Shillow is a Palestinian American from Chicago with family living in Gaza right now. She joined a group of Chicagoans in traveling to D.C. to send a message to Congress asking the U.S. to stop sending federal funding to Israel. We just live in a completely different political climate. We don't just believe our politicians anymore because they've broken our trust so often. According to the Hamas-run health ministry, more than 9,400 people have died in Gaza. Earlier today, Secretary of State Anthony Blinken met with Arab foreign ministers and a Palestinian liberation organization in Jordan. The prime objective of the talks was to ease the growing humanitarian crisis in Gaza. Each day, more than 100 trucks are moving to Rafah, up from zero just a little over a week ago. But that is not nearly enough. Protesters in D.C. say they'll keep pressuring elected officials and are optimistic with the diversity of people standing with them. What I saw was that there are other people who believe in this cause and there's other people who want justice and they understand that uh, peace without justice is simply silence. Meanwhile, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has dismissed those growing calls for a ceasefire, saying Hamas must release an estimated 240 hostages first. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.